How do you say, Dick Ruby? How do you say, Dick God? Ooh la 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 la. Pusha ka pusha pusha ka pusha pusha ka pusha pusha ka pusha. How do you say, delight, 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 delight? Thanksgiving, giving thanks for our deliverance. Thanksgiving, giving thanks for our deliverance. As English, it's an American thing that you're not really too sure what it's all about, but it's the pilgrims arriving on the Mayflower, touching dry land, survived little plagues on the boat, and um, they had something to eat that they foraged for, or got help with with the North American Indians. But thanks. Thanksgiving now is something that I think should become an international thing with an international message of um, thanks to your forefathers for what they suffered so you can be here at all today. Poppy Day Remembrance in Britain anyway has got usurped. It used to be after the war, after the war to end all wars to avoid there being any more wars. Now it's sort of to subsidise war by repairing the people that come back from economic wars by means of charity rather than the government showing their appreciation who needed to send them there in the first place because of their failings of diplomacies and they're pushing too hard with commerce. Watch out! Olive, you're going to film the, the chin on the table. Yeah, we can all stand on the table. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it's called it in the Second World War in Dunkirk in North Africa. Cues. We've heard a lot about cues. While the former Queen of England is lying in state in Westminster Abbey, long cues. And the fine weather was hailed. No, uh, Dunkirk, there were lots of queues. You had to queue to get on the boats. Big boats, little boats. You had to... Stand in a queue on a big stretch of sand out in the open to get on a jetty, a pier, to get on a ship. Many of them could see from there that the ships were getting sunk as targets not long after they'd left. And despite the RAF flying over the channel, German Stukas were dive-bombing the beach a big percentage of the day. So you stand in your queue and you get machine-gunned from the air. You sit in shell holes in the sand or dig protection and you're out of the queue then. Sure, you can make a quick dash for the shell shelter when you see something coming but there's MPs there, military police to keep the queue in order inevitably there's going to be queue jumpers like Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield children's pr television presenter shame on him those military police kick the living daylights out of you if you're a queue jumper and they're quite at liberty to just shoot you dead they need to maintain order they can put you to the back of the queue after they've beaten you up, of course. But t people did get on boats. It wasn't quite a victory in defeat as it's painted nowadays. Certainly my granddad didn't talk much, <laughs> almost not at all, about the war. But it's how they didn't want to. And how they told you what they did and when they told you what they did. And most importantly, didn't do. That communicates so much. These were people that were brought up without a healthcare system or a welfare state, and they were provided for afterwards and their children. Though that, of course, was a fight against the war profiteers to enable those systems to be born. The NHS, National Health Service, looked after them in their old age and helped my mother be born into this world. 
that when we wanted to have a rowboat in the local park, we couldn't get my granddad onto a little rowboat in the park lake. And he wasn't that keen on us children chuckling at him for his phobia that was a justified phobia, I'd say. I can't be thankful for what my grandfather endured on Remembrance Day anymore, sadly. An international Thanksgiving Day seems more appropriate, and I make that remembrance here in Britain then. It's not likely that it's going to get a national holiday, though, is it? A bank holiday. Um, even in America, where it's born. When I was in Aspen, working as an architect, one week's holiday, one week sick, and very few national holidays. 30 you get in Europe. But thinking about it, those pilgrims, a bit like the army, the war, long periods of boredom while they're on the boat, and intense activity and heartbeats per minute per effort. Arrival. Thanksgiving, is it a festival of euphoria? People in their weakened state will just died from the sight of land. And all half decent food and clean water. Old Lang Syne Day. New Year. That's more like a festival of euphoria day, I think. But really, that's a um, day of remembrance, uh, giving thanks for making it through to the end past, the longest day of winter. It's all downhill and should be plain sailing from here, but then people are also weakened, so it's in the darkest days of before the dawn, aren't they? But that depressing Old Lang Syne song is mournful. And what's it doing there in the middle of the party? No, explaining the words to Old Lang Syne and the meaning behind it. Is that what I'm going to do? Is that what you want? Did you not come here to party? So, with a little money left me from the sale of my grandparents' council house, former, which they bought with my mother's help, but was already theirs, more or less. Pay twice as much for the same thing. The ex-soldiers were provided these things that, so they didn't cause any uproar. And later the country's liabilities and assets had to be sold off. That's that Maggie, 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 out, out, out era. Closing down all the coal mines and what have you. A little like blood money. I'm buying a holiday home, a place in the sun. Um, I'm guaranteeing myself work. But I don't have the money for the materials. Have faith in multi-million dollar companies waste will provide. Scrounging out of tips isn't, and skips, isn't what the trickle-down economy is really supposed to be about. But it's its best bit. In terms of real blood money, though, my grandmother um, insured my mother as a baby when she's uh, waiting for her man to come home, will she be able to support that baby? Will she need to be able to start all over again without him if he doesn't return home? 
In those days, a woman with a child had much less favourable prospects than a single woman, a widow. But my mother, knowing her mother, finding this ancient insurance document and asking her about it, she knew that there was a prospect that my grandmother might be killing my mother to save herself from a life of misery in the eventuality that her husband, the breadwinner, doesn't come home from war. Now, please excuse me, but it's a long drive down France, along the Western Front, as they used to call it, and cemeteries all the way, Maginot Line and the like. Tired, driving, and thankful. I'd done this drive recently in the Mini rather than the van, but the other half was never going to be sleeping in a Mini for the night ever again, and more than, I was aiming for two nights, but more than one night in the van, in the hammocks, wasn't going to happen either. So do this drive in one slog. The estate agent that I'd driven a thousand miles to make the appointment with was a complete waste of time and only had half the keys and so I could only access half the property. I was the bit I was most excited about, the roof, couldn't get in it. Or rather could have done, it had just taken a firm jerk at the door but she wasn't having it. It had gone soon after and saved for another but I think really what I've got might have been a better option. Though I would have had all the creature comforts of the one flat while still being able to work on creating a second flat in the loft. Now I've got 3,000 square foot to try and find materials for, and no creature comforts at all. But I am thankful to be able to get that place in the sun, near a ski resort, for the price that I got it. And decent sized towns and cities nearby, and the prospect of work. Seasonal or minimum wage, but it's not an hour from the beach like I was hoping, but three hours isn't so bad. I have a home and an away to be thankful for. A landing in this new country, this new adventure, this new prospect.